Hey, what's going on guys? Okay, so here we are in Quixel Mixer and I have this custom mix that I have made. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And what we wanna do is, the goal of this is to be able to export from Mixer as a library asset that Bridge can read and then we can export from there into, I'm gonna be using Cinema 4D, but whatever, uh, whatever 3D uh, software package you're gonna be exporting to, you can do it straight from Bridge. And what that's gonna do it save you a ton of time on the back end, setting up all your materials, bringing the, the separate images in, uh, creating the shader, all that stuff. Okay. So it's just, it'll be, you know, grab and grab and go and you'll be set. So uh, I'm all about saving time. So hopefully uh, this will help you guys as well. So we're going to go up to edit. There's two things we want to make sure of under preferences. We have our, where our mixer files are set and then our local library. So, the mixer files is what you're seeing right here. It is the actual file that you're using to create the mix. And then the local library is the Quixel assets, all the textures, decals, all that stuff. So just make sure you have those set where you set properly and where you want them. And then uh, as, as far as this actual mix goes, uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I have an asphalt texture and then I uh, put a noise on top of that and then uh, threw some decals on here and then uh, have a liquid layer so that we get the uh, the wet uh, uh, the wet map essentially. And so this is kind of like some you know some post apocalyptic street or something like that. So what we're gonna do is the second thing we want to make sure of under export is I think that this is set to custom by default. And what we want to make sure of is that it is set to library because otherwise it's gonna kick out the individual images and it won't pump it into bridge. So we want to set that, set our asset name, and uh, surface is on by default, I believe. And then our category, we're going to throw it under a category if you want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put this under ground. And I leave this at surface maps because if you do uh, the 32-bit, it's kind of overkill, at least for what I need uh, right now. And so I just leave it at surface maps because uh, it, it'll save on disk space and all that good stuff. But you also automatically get a 32-bit EXR kicked out for the displacement anyway under this. So uh, you can leave it at that. And then we want to make sure down here that our texture resolution is set to what we want it to be set at. And then once you're done, you just kick it out. And I've already uh, saved you the the, uh, the pain of just sitting here watching this export. I've already kicked it out, but you'll just export to library. Uh, it's going to give me this note saying that it already exists. So I'm just going to cancel that. But you'll, you'll hit that, kick it out. And then once you kick that out and have that ready to go, you're going to open up Bridge. And with Bridge, uh, you go down to this area under Local. And you'll see here that we have a mixer, by default, a mixer category here. And so this is the row tile that I kicked out from Mixer. And if you want to look at where the files are or they exist, you just right click and go to Files. Now I'll show you where they live. And here, uh, under my Quixel asset category, I go into custom and surface, and here is the row tile. Now, if you do it, like I said before, as uh, the, not the library asset as a custom, it's going to just kick out the, uh, kick these out. And if I'm not mistaken, it won't kick out the extra information that it needs to um, this JSON file to go into bridge. Um, it could be wrong on that but I believe that is the case. So once you have that, and you, I just wanted to show that in case you needed the textures separate for something that, uh, you know, uh, for something else that you need, uh, you can just grab it from there. So uh, those are still available, but now Bridge reads it. Uh, one thing to note about Bridge, it can be a little slow depending on how many assets and decals and, and stuff you have uh, local versus, you know, um, that you've downloaded and whatnot. So if it's not showing up, you just go up here to view and reload. It may take a second, but it should pop up. So once we have that there, all you do, just make sure that your settings here are set properly uh, to whatever platform you're going to be exporting to. I'm doing Cinema 4D. So you just make sure you have it set to whatever you want. Now, if you are uh, using this for Unreal and Unreal, it's only going to, it's not going to have that option. Um, if you're not doing the paid subscription, it'll just be uh, Unreal. So uh, pretty straightforward there. Then uh, you just hit export and you're good to go. So I have pulled it into here 
Cinema 4D. And if you see when it brings it in, it brings it in and everything's connected and you don't have to worry about a thing. So that's pretty amazing. It saves a ton of time. And as you guys know, I love saving time and, uh, you know, it just helps the process, especially when you're trying to look dev and whatnot, it just helps save you a lot of time on the back end. So in here, if I fire up, I just have a simple HDRI here. If I fire that up, I just, you know, throw it on the, on the, uh, the material, the, the geo that I need. And here we go. So that's a quick and easy way to get your mixes from Bridge out into your uh, 3D software package so you can, you know, um, not have to worry about hooking all that stuff up and save a lot of time on the back end. That's it for this one. If you guys found it helpful, be sure to share it with somebody. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. As always, work hard, stay humble, and we'll catch you on the next one.